Hello. In this video, we're going to learn how to use the camera controls in ALICE 3 to create a variety of interesting and cinematic views for your programs and for your games. First thing to understand is that the camera is what you look through. You can never see the camera because the camera is your eyes. So let's drop down and select the camera, and let's see what some of our choices are. First one's fairly straightforward. We're going to move, let's say, right 0.5. And when it says right, it means from the camera's viewpoint. So it's going to move this way because this is the camera's right. We run it, and there we go. Now we can also specify from whose or what's viewpoint. So we're going to add a detail. We're going to say as seen by. And we're going to say as seen by the eagle. Now the eagle is facing us, so the eagle's right is going to be this, our left. So when we run it now, it's moving to the eagle's right. Let's look at some of these other commands. Move towards, if we want to move towards a specific object, move away from a specific object, move to a specific point. We can also place it at a certain location. Now let's take a look at turn. Turn's an interesting one. So we're going to turn left. Let's say we want to turn left 0.25. By default, we're doing this from the camera's viewpoint. So we run it, it turns left a quarter turn. Now, let's try doing a full rotation, 1.0, and let's slow it down a little bit. Let's say duration of 3, so that'll be 3 seconds. We're going to run this again, and it does a full rotation in 3 seconds. Now, let's take a look at our options for viewpoint. So we're going to say as seen by the eagle. And this is going to do an interesting effect where it's going to kind of pan all the way around the eagle in a full circle. So we're going to run this. And we take a look all the way around the eagle. Let's do this for the Dalmatian. We're going to pan it all the way around the Dalmatian. And we see we get a nice view of the entire scene around the Dalmatian. Great for a cinematic look. Okay. Let's talk about some of these other ones. Turn to face is going to point it in the direction of a certain object. So in this case, I want to have it turn to face the bunny. We're going to run it, and it moves to face the bunny. Next command we're going to talk about is orient to. Now, it's important to understand that orient to means it's going to be facing in the same direction. So, for example, if I face in the same direction as the Dalmatian, I'm not going to see anything because I'm facing forward as the Dalmatian is. So the Dalmatian, the eagle, and all the other characters are behind me. Next command we're going to look at is uh, orient to upright. So let's take a different view real quick. Let's look at our camera. We're going to do a one-shot to change the view. We're going to say turn forward, let's say 0.125. So we're kind of looking at the ground here. Now, if we say the camera and we have it orient to upright, it's going to face flat again. So we hit run and it faces flat looking into the horizon. Okay, point at. This is just going to point in the direction of a particular object. So we're going to have it first orient to upright and then point at the Dalmatian. And there we go. It's pointing straight at the Dalmatian. It's great if you want to make a particular object the subject of your program or game at a certain point. Let's go to set up scene. We're going to use a one shot. I want to get the starting view back to normal. So I've got the camera selected. I'm going to go to one shot, I'm going to say procedures, and I'm going to say orient to upright. And this permanently sets us back to an upright position. One shots are really useful because you often can't reliably use the click and drag in the scene mode in Alice. Okay, let's go back down here. Let's look at move and orient to. Now what this means is basically this is going to be looking through the eyes of a particular character. So let's do the bunny. We're going to move and orient to the bunny. And now we are looking through the eyes of the bunny, and we can see some characters in front of us.
Sometimes it creates a little weird effect because we're inside the object. So what I often like to do is when I move an orient to, then I have a move up 0.25 and then a move forward 0.25. We're going to set the duration here to zero. So it happens very quickly. And let's run this. And now again, I'm looking through the bunny's eyes, but I'm not distracted or blocked by the inside of the object. Okay, let's look at move and orient to a good vantage point up. So what this is for is if we want to make a particular character the scene of our action, but we want to get a good look at him. So I'm going to move and orient to a good vantage point of the bunny. And here we go. We're looking kind of down and diagonally on the bunny. This works well if we don't have a lot of objects. If we had a bunch of trees or buildings or something like that surrounding, it's very likely that one of those objects would block our vantage point because Alice often doesn't consider what might be in the way of our good vantage point. Finally, let's talk about set vehicle. Set vehicle is a very powerful tool that lets us stay at the same relative location of an object. And it doesn't even have to be used for a camera. It can be used for anything. So let's say I want to find a good view of the eagle. So I'm going to angle down a little bit. I'm going to use a one shot. And I'm going to say turn forward. I'm just going to turn forward a little bit. I'm going to say 0.05. Okay, that's I'm getting a good view of the eagle. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my vehicle to the eagle. And what this does, this means I stay at the same relative location compared to the eagle. Then I'm going to have the eagle move forward. So I'm going to say the eagle move forward, let's say two. And I'm going to run it. So you see I'm backing up at the same speed and distance as the eagle is. Let's do it for a little longer so we can really see the effect. There we go. Now, sometimes you want to stop following the object that you've set the vehicle on. So in that case, what we would do is we would set the vehicle again, but this time we would set the vehicle to this. So let's go to our camera. We're going to set the vehicle to this, which unsets the vehicle. And then we're going to move the eagle a little more to see that we're no longer following it. Let's set the time a little longer so it's easier to get a look at what's happening. So we're following the eagle, we stop following the eagle, and it goes on past us. So that's a look at some of the basic features of the camera controls. In a later lesson, we're going to learn about camera markers, and those let us predefine certain areas we can move the camera to.